So today we're on the Mull Peninsula. We're between the Sound over in this direction and the Craig Niche that's over this way. And we're looking at some Neolithic and Early Bronze Age rock art. In Britain and Ireland, the main kind of rock art that we find from this period is something that we call cup marks. So small hollows that have been worked into usually the bedrock. Uh, sometimes you also get rings around them and lines that are engraved in. On the Isle of Man though, what we mostly have is just the cup mark hollows. Sometimes those bits of rocks end up in other things. So I've been excavating a burial site up near Kirk Michael and we have a cup mark that's inside a kist, a little box that people were buried in in the Bronze Age. The Isle of Man actually has a really high density of cup marks compared to Britain and Ireland. And there are skites all across the Isle of Man. There are loads right here in the Mull Peninsula, lots and lots of different panels, and you can find some of them in the Iron Age promontory fort of Borough Ned, just down the hill from where I am. Archaeologists have excavated cup mark panels elsewhere in Britain and Ireland. Amazing work has been done by Andy Jones up in Kilmar in Glen in Scotland, for example. And there, where they've excavated the panels, they've been able to understand better how they've been made, and they've been able to begin to start to date them. Dating them's difficult because it's very hard to date a hollow in the rock, but lots of them have dates that range around the Early Bronze Age, and in some cases into the Late Neolithic. So that's around 3,000 years BC, to about 2000 to 1500 BC. So they're very old. The thing that most people want to know when you talk about rock art is what they are and what they're for, or what did they mean? And these are really interesting questions, but they're really hard to answer as an archeologist. We know that people came to these places, often stunningly beautiful places with amazing views, and they spent time pecking into the rock to create different features on the surface, the cups and hollows that we refer to as cup marks. What they're for and what they did is much more difficult to answer. We know that people came and enjoyed making them together. Some people think they might be symbolic. Perhaps they might represent the sun or they might be to do with the cosmology of the time. But as an archeologist, I'm more interested in how people made them and what they got out of that process. And for me, they're about a relationship with place. Somewhere where you've gone and left your mark on a rock in a beautiful location that's lasted thousands and thousands of years for people like me to come and look at today. And that, even though I can't tell you what they symbolize or what they mean, is extremely satisfying. Mm -hmm.